Now let's hear from some partners about how they are creating DSPs programmatically. Let's invite our friends from Knapsack, and I'll start with Andrew. Awesome. Thanks, Damien. Uh, hey, everyone. I'm Andrew. I'm, I'm the head of customer success at Knapsack. Uh, so Knapsack's a SaaS platform that helps enterprise product teams manage and operate their system by bringing everyone together around the functioning code. Uh, we're really excited about the DSP and what Adobe's up to because you know it's it's really focused on helping teams actually work with their system and take things beyond just documentation and, and more rudimentary ways of sharing, which is a huge priority of ours too. So in a moment, Salem, who's our front end lead, is going to show how if you're using Knapsack to power your enterprise system, you can quickly generate a DSP and make use of all this awesome stuff that you're seeing today. And since Knapsack connects to your source repo for both the system code and the documentation, means that everything in the repo, the storefront site, and the DSP are always in sync. Let's see it, Sam. Hey, thanks so much, Andrew. Hey, all. I'm Salem Cobalt, principal front end engineer at Knapsack. And I'm super stoked to show you guys how Knapsack's new DSP plugin not only makes it really easy for teams to quickly package up and share their design system, but let you do it in a way that's actually maintainable and easy to maintain. Um, keep, keep it up to date. For starters, I'm going to start up our local dev environment. So this is going to boot up Knapsack, start looking at our file system for changes, you know, things like updating our, our documentation, our component templates, our demos, our tokens, those, those sorts of things. And to get started with our new Adobe DSP plugin, that's all there is to it. Once the plugin's been installed and enabled, Knapsack will auto-generate an always up-to-date DSP export that stays in sync with your build as you make changes to your system. Let's dig into this a little bit more. Let's take a look at our button component. So here on our, our button page, you'll see we have a bunch of information. We have our auto-generated component, uh, the different variations of our button that we're managing in Knapsack, some documentation, and our different templating languages that our button component is available in. Let's take a look at view for an example. So if I'm in the XD extension in VS Code and take a look at our button page, I can see that there's already a lot of information there right out of the box. That's, that's so exciting here. So not only are we auto-generating all of the components uh, screenshots, the previews for each one that you have in your design system all automatically, any tokens that you've gone in and mapped up saying, hey, the button's using these particular color, color uh, swatches, we keep that in sync and make sure that the, the extension, the, the export rather, is, is um, showing that relevant info. Same thing goes with your documentation. And this is really neat. We have live embeds right in the, the DSP package as well. So like this is not a screenshot. It's an actual real button. I can click on it and open it up in a new window. Um, it's just full rendered little sandbox of, of your components. And we also have tagging support. You know, We want to make sure it's really easy to get tags uh, in your system, make it easy to find what you're looking for. So we're auto-generating your, your tags based on you know, your taxonomy for your component, how you're organizing maybe what templating languages you're making it available in. It's you know, really easy to get started. And you know, lastly, we have our code snippet support. So you know, our, our button component here is available uh, in a few different languages. So from a, a contribution standpoint, we really wanted to make it easy for system maintainers to keep that documentation, those, those demos, those examples, keep all of that in sync in Knapsack while still making that available for con uh, consumers downstream so for contributors, easy to maintain, easy to keep it up to date. For um, for consumers, you know everything's uh, you know everything's going to be you know pulling out that latest and greatest source of truth. Next up, let's talk about design tokens. If I'm in AppSec looking at our color swatches here, I, I can see every, everything that's available currently. Uh, under the hood, we're using Style Dictionary to power everything. Um, not only what's in AppSec, but also making sure that we're handing that off over to the, the DSP package as well. So if I'm here, I can see our different color options that are available. Let's just say I go in and, oh, I don't know, I'll change one of the hex values for my blue, maybe tweak the shade a little bit. I save and make the change. The, the DSP is, is re-exported automatically. And I can see in my browser, not only is my color updated here, but over in the extension, 
I look at our colors. So the color, the color swatch itself, that's been updated. But then any places that are actually pointing to that token, so for example, our color message primary here, that's also pointing to that, that same uh, color shade as well. All that stays in sync. Uh, lastly, let's, let's go over some documentation. If I look at our accessibility guidelines here, and I'm going in and making some updates over time, making sure our best practices are getting enforced. I, I might want to make it make a tweak to some of our copy. So I just in the browser go in, make a change, and Knapsack will automatically recompile your docs, keep them, keep them in sync with your DSP, all in real time. If I just click back over here into our accessibility docs, you'll see my copy changes is right there, and you know, there's more I can go into. Um, there's a ton we're like excited about here, but just to give you a little bit of perspective, you know, this is a relatively small example of a uh, you know a fledgling design system. If you had a more mature system with a ton more components, you know this this DSP format with uh, deep integration with Knapsack, it's going to scale up as your system becomes more mature and uh, used by uh, even more teams across your organization. And with that, just wanted to mention that if you're really interested in this, wanted to get in touch with us, you can check out knapsack.cloud or ping us on Twitter. We're at Knapsack Cloud. Thanks so much for having me. And I'll hand it back over to you, Damien. Awesome. Thank you very, very much, Salem. This is incredible. Yeah, the, the, the level of integrations here is, is super, super impressive. And uh, all the feedback that you guys gave us when we were discussing DSP and the support for Angular, Vue, and all those little details, mm -hmm made a huge difference and that collaboration really helps. So thank you very, very much. Impressive as well.